in number and numeration, first you need to understand your number base as featured here, and you need to know how to convert from some other base to base 10, in which you multiply with that particular base and you increase the power from 0 to 1, 2, and 3, okay? And then again, here yeah, you can increase the number power from 0 to 1 so that you can convert to base 10. But if you want to convert from base 10 to base 2, you need to divide by that base that you want to convert to, like here. 34 in base 10, you want to convert to base 2, then you need to divide by 2, which is the base. But then, what you write out is the remainders. You can see, these are the remainders, and you take it from bottom, you take it up. That is part of number base. Oh. Now, the next topic in number and numeration involves fractions, decimals, approximations, percentages, profit and loss, shared and valued added tasks, ratio, proportion, and rate. And very, very important for you to solve this is board mass or PEMDAS. This is just bracket of division, multiplication, addition, and subtraction. Or you can say parentheses, exponent, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. Just showing you the order of operation of the normal mathematical processes so that you know the first thing to do when you're having a multiple of operations like in this particular question, okay? Then in fractions, you need to know how to round down or round up your figures, okay? If you have numbers from zero to four, you round them down to zero. Whereas numbers from 5 to 9, you run them up to 1 and add to the number, just pre-up to them. These can be featured in some expressions like this, and then you will know how to get your final answer. You also need to know the simple interest, principal, times rate, times time over 100. And then there are quick and mental tricks that you need to be able to express percentages. For example, we are being told 80% of X. Okay, it's just the same thing as you saying that the old number 1 minus 0 0.02 multiplied by x and you get that straight and direct and then quite popular among the questions that jam normally sets is the laws of indices and the laws of logarithm you need to know how to actually compute all of this what to do with the powers what to do with the basis if you are working with this and then once in a while they do bring out exponential equations and logarithmic equations okay this is a logarithmic equation here this is an exponential equation here, in which so, most of the time, sometimes you just need to represent a variable with some other variable, and then you solve for p, and then revert back and solve for your final answer, okay? And in logarithm, you also need to know how to change base from when you're having um, indices, and then you can convert to logarithm, and these are going to help you in solving questions when it comes to your jump exam. Now, working with sword, you need to know how to rationalize sword, how to find the conjugate of a sword, which would be like in this case, the conjugate of root 5 minus root 3 is root 5 plus root 3. When you multiply these two together, eventually you're only going to have 5 minus 3 as the base, which is 2. So you need to know those tricks to actually express swords when you're working them. And then set, set featured a number of times in your exam, and you need to know how to interpret question on set, and then how to find some unknowns. And then you also need to know how to identify areas that are shaded in your Venn diagram. Like in this particular case, you will be asked, okay, what is the region that's being shaded? You need to be able to extrapolate that and pick the correct option out of the ones that are available to you. Now, sometimes jump define your set linearly with expressions like this, in which you need to interpret this, that P is defined in X, so that X is odd, and then minus 1 is less than S, which is less than or equal to 20. Now, minus 1 being less than S means that minus 1, is not part of it. And if you are saying it is odd, then you need to pick the odd numbers from 0 to 20 in this particular expression. So you need to be able to find how to interpret that correctly. And then look at this. They also give you, gave you that Q is prime and Q is between minus 2 and 25, 25 inclusive. Then you should be able to get those elements in Q and in P out. Then you can find the intersection as appropriate. Okay, so those are the topics that are featured under number and numeration.